Today's speaker is Mike Beer. I've known Mike you know Mike over the last few years. Um, so I'm just going to present uh, Mike Beer. So it's off to you. Thanks so much. So today I just wanted to share with you a little bit of uh, my story and hopefully something educational. Um, so. I don't know if you're concerned about uh, building wealth in this volatile environment where we have threats of recession, where post COVID, and stocks are going up and down like a yo yo, uh, and then the lack lackluster investment options. So, when I was a child, I grew up in communist Poland, and uh, you know, life wasn't, wasn't ideal. Uh, however, my father used to work on a cargo ship as a chief engineer. <clears throat> so he was one of the very few people that was actually allowed to leave the country because he couldn't leave just, just because he wanted to. Uh, not that he had the funds either. So <clears throat> one day he and my mom decided that we're gonna actually go on vacation to Sweden, which wasn't a vacation. Um, halfway through, let's say an hour before the border, he told my sister and I, she was 16, I was 10 years old, uh, by the way, we're, we're not going on vacation, we're actually illegally escaping the country. So, so I didn't know what to do. My sister started bawling and crying because she left her boyfriend back, back home when she was 16. And uh, I don't know why they told us that, because there were, you know, the borders lined up with military police. They're just waiting to, to look at what you're doing and why you're leaving. So this is uh, no, no police in a, in a communist uh, country, just military police. But somehow we, we ended up getting to Sweden and then finally to Canada with uh, just a few cardboard boxes. It was, uh, it was very humbling to see my father as a chief engineer, professional engineer, uh, actually working in a factory and then delivering pizza pizza in the evenings. Mm. Then my parents would freeze that pizza so we had something we had to prove for, uh, for the next day because it was free, it was leftovers from a pizza pizza store. Um, so I consider that as uh, a very, very humbling and a gift of a, of a journey because it really made me realize that life is so incredibly precious and it gave me incredible drive to be more and then want more. So, uh, long story short, a little bit further down, I, uh, uh, I studied, I was always a logical person, so I studied uh, mathematics and computer science. I went to one of the top schools, University of Waterloo, uh, which is uh, by uh, Kitchener, and became later an executive at one of the two largest companies uh, consulting, solving difficult problems for global clients. I was earning a very good salary, um, very good, and then I had friends that were also earning amazing salaries, uh, as well as some of our friends were business owners. But really, what we faced is that as much as you earn, you're not really making a significant impact on your net worth because it is a it is a, a, a job and it's not really building uh, generational wealth so it's very frustrating so we're always looking for the secret so what's the next apple stock what's another stock how can we double our money but really that secret uh, didn't seem to exist it's always just one thing to another so then I met a friend of my wife's by chance. We went out for lunch and, and he's telling me about his business and he said, I have, I have 46 tenants. I thought, 46 tenants? I mean, I want to have 46 tenants. So <clears throat> I started doing a lot of investigating in real estate, spent countless of hours uh, studying it and bought a bunch of uh, different properties and, and learned uh, quite a bit and was fortunate enough to meet a mentor of mine, uh, which is a real estate mogul. Um, and after someone has a portfolio of a billion dollars, they deserve the name, uh, officially. So <clears throat> now, fast forward, we have a company where with investors, we take average apartment buildings, 
and we turn them into amazing communities.